Nero was the fifth emperor of the Roman Empire, reigning from 54 to 68. He was born as Lucius Domitius Ahenobarbus and was later adopted by Emperor Claudius, leading to a change in his name to Nero Claudius Caesar Drusus Germanicus. After becoming emperor, his official name became Nero Claudius Caesar Augustus Germanicus and later Imperator Nero Claudius Caesar Augustus Germanicus. Nero was the son of Nius Domitius Ahenobarbus and Agrippina the Younger, who had ties to Gaius Julius Caesar Octavianus. Nero's mother Agrippina was married to Emperor Claudius and she manipulated him into adopting Nero and making him his heir. Seneca, a philosopher, was brought back from exile to serve as Nero's teacher. Nero then married Claudia Octavia, Claudius' daughter. However, Claudius was planning to name Britannicus as his successor, but Agrippina poisoned Claudius before he could do so. This allowed Nero to become emperor without any opposition. Later on, Nero poisoned Britannicus himself to eliminate any potential challenges to his rule. Agrippina, the mother of Nero, had a lot of influence during the early days of his rule, but after Britannicus passed away, she was kicked out of the palace. This gave Nero, who was 18 years old, complete control. His main advisors were Seneca and Burrus, who was the leader of the Praetorian Guard, and they had distanced themselves from Agrippina when it was necessary. Eventually, in 59, Nero ordered for his own mother to be killed. During the first five years of Nero's reign, Rome and the empire were in a period of peace and prosperity, with Seneca and Burrus as effective advisors to the emperor. At this time, Nero was even compared favorably to Augustus, who was seen as the greatest emperor ever. However, as time went on, Nero became less interested in ruling and became more consumed by his passions for Greek culture, art, and hedonistic activities like drinking and sex. He left the administration of the empire to Seneca and Burrus, but rumors of Burrus' death led to Seneca's resignation, which was refused by Nero. Nero also divorced and banished his wife Claudia Octavia, replacing her with his mistress Poppia, who was previously the wife of his friend Otho. During the time of Nero's rule, General Corbulo was sent to teach the Parthians a lesson. He invaded Armenia, captured some cities and placed Tiridates I, a brother of the Parthian king, on the throne. However, later Petus was sent to replace Corbulo but suffered defeat by the Parthians. Corbulo took back control and had a successful campaign, but in the end, Tiridates was still confirmed as the ruler of Armenia by Rome. Nero even brought Tiridates to Rome to receive his confirmation, which made all of Corbulo's efforts worthless. From then on, Nero was not a good ruler as he focused more on his personal interests, such as poetry and singing, rather than conquering territories and this weakened his authority and dignity in the eyes of the Roman people. Nero, a Roman emperor, faced several conspiracies during his reign. These plots were often initiated by courtiers, and the leaders of these conspiracies were executed. In 64 AD, a big fire broke out in Rome, destroying much of the city. Although Nero was not in Rome at the time and took steps to help those affected and rebuild, there were rumours that he had ordered the fire himself for either the beautiful spectacle or to make room for a grand palace. The rumours were fueled by the fact that he had built a magnificent palace, the Domus Aurea, on the site after the fire. To deflect suspicion from himself, Nero blamed the Christians for the fire. Nero, a Roman emperor, built a large and fancy palace called the Domus Aurea in the ruined part of the city, which only increased the dislike towards him. The palace was so grand that it included a 35-meter tall statue of Nero, which was later named the Colossus. The palace caused problems for the city as it prevented many of the original residents from returning to their homes and made the financial crisis caused by the reconstruction of the rest of the destroyed city even worse. As a result, in 65 Piso conspired against Nero, but the plan was discovered. Nero took strict measures and forced Piso, Seneca, and Lucanus, his cousin, to take their own lives. The Jewish war began after the loss of the Battle of Beth Horon in 66 and Jews and Christians were persecuted. Nero, the emperor at the time, was known for his brutal treatment of Christians, including setting them on fire as lights during feasts. An uprising in Gaul in 68 led to Nero's downfall and several other rebellions followed. 
The Senate eventually impeached Nero and when they came to arrest him, he killed himself. Nero left the empire in chaos and the Senate condemned his memory with the Damnatio Memorii. Thanks for watching this video. If you like the video, please subscribe to our channel.